Long wait times have long frustrated Ugh. DMV customers. We're talking about this, actually, right? We were just talking about yeah. this. And today, the agency is rolling out some changes. It hopes it will fix this issue for North Carolina customers. WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood visited the location off of Arrowwood Road in Charlotte to learn more about the problem and also how the department is trying to help. First day of the change and some DMV customers tell me they had to wait hours to get help. They're hoping relief will come soon. North Carolina's DMV rolling out changes Monday. They hope will improve wait times. They have got to fix it. We can't just stay here for three hours. Joyce Hammond needs her license renewed by May 12th. I went to go online and it said I was not able. I called to make an appointment and it's booked for 90 days. So she came to the office on Arrowwood to find the line stretched outside the door and two stores over. I'm 68 years old and this is kind of hard on me but I have to have it done or I can't drive. So it's very unfair. Her story not uncommon. I had to bring a chair because we knew in advance you know, that this was going to be an issue. But the DMV says it's working to fix it, allowing more offices to open at 7 a.m. and limiting scheduled appointments to morning hours. That helps us provide more walk-in capacity for our North Carolina customers. They're also preparing to open Saturdays at some locations closer to summer and expanding online services to allow state IDs and level three full provisional licenses to be renewed online. 20% of people who are in line could have actually gotten their services online. Also in the works, self-service kiosks at places like grocery stores and pharmacies for license and registration renewals, and a tool to show just how long the wait is at driver's license offices, so customers can prepare for a quick trip. Hopefully that's going to be the case in the future. Well, despite the line, one customer tells me she was able to get through in less time than last week. It's improvements the DMV is hoping will continue going forward. Reporting here in Charlotte, Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte.